Hey guys, Station X here, and as you can see from this box, we're going to be doing kind of like a mystery opening kind of uh, video game pickups today. It'll be like a bonus episode because I already have one planned for this month. But I have this box here filled with games. Now I already kind of sneak peeked it, so it's mostly Xbox stuff. And uh, I kind of already know like a handful of them just because of the top. I'm going to take a look at it, see what's in there, and see what we have from here. All right, so opening this up, as you can see, it's a lot. There's a lot of stuff here, and I already see some goodies over here. That's why I kind of already know what some of the stuff is, but there's still some stuff I don't know. Uh, like, some of these things I already own, like Ninja Gaiden 2. It's got the nice uh, Xbox sleeve that a lot of Xbox 360 games have. So, these are very nice. Whoever uh, had these before, previously, really took care of these things. Uh, here we got FIFA Soccer. Just get some of these out of the way. Uh, Need for Speed, The Run. It's pretty cool. I uh, see so we have a Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Pretty neat. And with a bonus disc. Of a... Uh, Cabela's Danger Hunt 2011. Pretty neat. Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires. This one was kind of cool because uh, when I was going through some garage sales and stuff like that, I picked up a small box of Xbox 360 games that'll be in like a later video. But one of them was Dynasty Warriors 6. And uh, I was so excited. Now, when I opened it up, no game in there. This time, you know, there's a game, thankfully. But uh, I was so annoyed because I was like, ah, oh, this looks so cool. Can't wait to play. And of course, no game in it. So that's always something you kind of run the risk of sometimes. Got Guitar Hero Aerosmith, the Guitar Hero series. Pretty, pretty cool. Don't have too many of these on 360. Here we have uh, Wolfenstein New Order. This one's sealed. So that's pretty cool. You don't see that too often. Includes invite to Doom Beta. Sure, <laughs> that's not obviously available anymore. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Nice little piece of history. Didn't own any Wolfenstein games on Xbox 360. I have some on PS4 and things like that, but not on 360, so that's pretty neat. And it's again sealed, so. We got South Park, The Stick of Truth. That's another classic game. One of the first South Park games that were actually true to the show and not just some random just kind of like TV slash movie title, you know? So it's pretty good. And then uh, here we have a Red Dead Game of the Year edition. Pretty sweet here. I think this one comes with both the Red Dead and, yep, Undead Nightmare. Pretty cool. And it does seem like it has the map. So that's awesome. Rockstar Games typically, you know, their open world stuff always has maps with them. And as you can see, the... The cover here is that, that nice metallic shiny with the rays, the rays texture and stuff. You gotta love the attention to detail on that. Things metallic with the spine. Pretty good, pretty good condition. Have uh, Chrome Hounds. This looks pretty interesting. It looks like a Mecha game. It's from both Sega, so. Uh, just want the Xbox 360 needs. That's pretty interesting. Never heard of this game before, but it looks cool. It's in great condition as a lot of these are no stickers as uh, another great thing i hate a lot of things you times you run into games like this you get stickers and, and it's just the most annoying thing on the planet i'm just gonna pull this deck out because i see a bunch of sports games you got a few 14 16 15 and a sealed 14 for new oh well, this one has a sticker on it but nah it's whatever it's a sports game that i don't care and I think I also see another, I see another sports game. I'm going to try to get these sports games out. Uh, it's NBA 15. We got, I think, some more soccer. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got Madden, more NBA, more FIFA, more Madden. Get these out of here. Titanfall 1. And so I believe this is uh, invite only. And I never really played the first one. I played the second one. Me like flip it around. I like flipping it around. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool. So, I do believe I already have this. 
I'm not I'm not sure if I have only Timefall 2 or if I bought both. They, they look very similar next to the spine, so. <laughs> when you just have them on the spine. I've never really played the first one because the second one was out, and I played that one mostly with my buddies. So, that's pretty cool. Here we have a sealed Destiny. I also see one on the top here, so let me just kind of get that out of the way. So now we have a an opened copy and a sealed copy. I already have these, but it's nice to not have a sealed one, so that's pretty cool. Elder Scrolls Online. This is a game I already have and don't really play too much, so that's pretty much it. Here we have Batman Arkham City, and this one is another sealed title, so that's pretty cool. We got a couple of sealed games in here. And they, they plaster this with <laughs> all sorts of reviews. I always love this cover. Like, Game of the Year Edition, 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, Game of the Year. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you could tell, but a lot of people really liked this game. And so it comes with some bonus content here, which, you know, seeing that it's not been used, is pretty cool. And it's got this sticker on it, which kind of sucks. But, you know, that is Harley Quinn. <laughs> so pretty cool. I love that we get some sealed stuff in here. I think we have some more. Oh, shoot. Let's see. We got Elder Scrolls. Too bad it's Platinum Heads. But we got a sealed Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and Halo Wars. I already have Halo Wars, so that's pretty cool that I have a sealed copy now. And I'm a big fan of the Halo franchise, so having a sealed Halo game like that is pretty neat. We have another Batman game here. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Pretty cool. You love the Joker, you gotta love that. Welcome to the Madhouse. Another Titanfall, so now I have two of those. This is a Gears of War Limited Edition. That's cool. I think I, if I remember correctly, I think I already have the steelbook on this. So let's, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I already have the steelbook for this. So that's pretty cool. But now I have uh, the whole package and things for it. Uh, we have the art book beneath the surface inside look to Gears of War 2. Pretty neat. And I saw there was something else in here. This is a. Uh, Gears of War 2 flash pack, uh, flashback map pack. I'm kind of tongue twister. It's got five free maps on it. That's pretty cool. And let me see. Yeah, the, these were open. So I have no doubt in my mind they were already used, but that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't really need it. And that is, it looks pretty complete. But even if it's not, it's just cool to kind of have the whole thing together. I mean, when you look at the packaging on this, I mean, like, look at that. You can't, you can't beat that. The Lancer, all that looks really cool. And the outer packaging, too. It's got a raised texture, metallic. That's sick. Gears of War has always had, like, sick art for it and stuff, so I really do appreciate it. I actually have the Gears of War 3 um, uh, Xbox 360. Speaking of Gears of War... Here we go, and I. Oh, no. I think we have, yeah, we have uh, Gears of War 2 in here as well. So we have two copies of Gears of War 2. One's the regular, one's the uh, Ultimate Edition or Limited Edition, whichever edition you want to call it. And here we have Gears of War 3, which is what the Xbox 360 came with, the one that I own. Let's start this pile. Crackdown, and I do believe I see. Here we go, Crackdown 2. We got the first two here. Pretty cool. I was always a fan of Crackdown 2. I thought that was really cool. But Crackdown 1 is also... Yeah, we'll get these both. Crackdown 1 and 2 are really awesome games. Too bad the third one turned out really bad. But, I mean, the first two, like, oh my god. Such amazing games. The third one had so much promise to it. Especially the early, like, early gameplay of it back in, like, 20, <laughs> 2013, I want to say. It was, like, 10 years ago. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1. It's pretty sick. I believe this is another game I already own. But I think I only own it through the double pack. Because it was a double pack with this and Forza. So now I think I have a solo one. I gotta check. But that's pretty cool that I now have a single edition. Yeah. Borderlands 1, the first one. I already have this on a couple different systems. So it's nice to have this on 360. We have uh, Black Ops 1, one of my favorite Call of Duty games of all time. One of a really good campaign. The Black Ops series 
just so amazing of course i think anybody who knows me will know that call of duty is just my jam and that is pretty neat that we got that in here even though i already have it but still <laughs> Rainbow Six Vegas, that's pretty neat. Uh, I think this one is the one I already have. But I think we had the second one in here, right? Yeah, we had the second one in this pile, so now we have both one and two in this pile. And we have Army of Two. Now, while I've never shown this on camera, I do have this game. It was just gonna be in a later pickups video. But I mean, hey, I'll have, I have two copies now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got... Alien versus Predator, and looks like I have a second Alien versus Predators. I have two of these. Pretty good games. I already own it. So <laughs> another one I already own: a Call of Duty World at War. Another fantabulous Call of Duty. And then we have uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Another Assassin's Creed game that I already own. But this thing, fantastic. Of course, you gotta love Ezio. The setting is awesome. This time you're in like Rome instead of just, you know, like for, uh, Forense, but pretty good. Saints Row the Third, another th game that's really cool, already have, but I also own it for Switch as well. So that's uh, that was one of my favorite games, rebuying from the Switch and playing it over again. It was pretty good. And then we have uh assassin's creed revelations I, I think i should just probably say right now i already own like the entire assassin's creed series so i mean any assassin's creed games that are in here i already own it but another one a fantastic conclusion to the etsy story although i wasn't a big fan like of of it at first just because it was like it did take me a little bit of time to get used to Ezio kind of outside of italy it just didn't he didn't feel like he was in the right place because he just he just looked out of place but at the same time the because he was out of place being like the only like only like one of the few italian people in this whole other country you know it was kind of cool that like you got to see him in a new location and a location that's kind of familiar to us from the first game and we got to see a bunch of altair and stuff too which is fantastic and of course seeing masia of castle for the for the uh second time in the series and seeing how how much it has changed from the first time we've seen it very cool and of course again the altair missions awesome and then uh looks like we have another call of duty in here call of duty 4 modern warfare a fantastic game i love the remaster of it but the original one always gives me uh gives me some goosebumps man i really love this game uh let's see what else we got in here i think we should just pull this entire thing out get the box out of the way just get that out of here we got uh outfit looks pretty cool looks like a world war ii shooter because i could see the tommy gun right here so it's pretty cool i've never heard of that one. Oh, we have a ps2 this is like the only ps2 game because <laughs> i think the yeah this is the, the rest of these are 360 games like star wars battlefront one i have this on the original xbox actually so now i have a ps2 copy that's pretty sick uh splatterhouse another really cool looking game it kind of reminds me a little bit of gears just because of how the the red and black is but this looks pretty awesome and it probably is very gory so we're gonna put that on the side uh, another platinum hits let's see now this one's a really bad version of platinum hits this has got assassin's creed one love the game but uh i don't like the case here especially the cover like, I think their first go around with Platinum Hits, they, like, shrunk the cover, gave you this, which is ew, and then you had this, which is the spine, which is also ew, and then you had the front, which basically is the same. And, of course, the cover, the, the case is gray instead of green, so it just kind of looks gross to me. I don't know. Don't very like it. Halo 4, you know, it, it was okay. Not the best Halo, but, again, I'm a big fan of Halo, so, I mean, I already have this, but it's nice to see that in the box. FIFA Soccer 12. Did we already? No, it's 13. I was going to say, like, I thought we already have that. Uh, this one I know we already have. Arkham Asylum again. Another Arkham Asylum. Another Joker. Pretty cool. And I guess the last one, very underwhelming, Madden 11. So let's just get all the games that we have. All right. And that'll be the entire, like, mystery edition of video game pickups. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think I got some pretty good games here? Some pretty good pickups? I know there's a, quite a few of them that I didn't have. 
and that I never saw for the first time. So that's pretty sick. We got some special editions, some game of the year editions, and lovely limited edition of Gears of War 2. So that's pretty sick. And also just let me know what your favorite Xbox 360 game is. You know, the Xbox 360 was a very loved system by a lot of people. And I'm curious to know what your favorite Xbox 360 game is. And as always, if you enjoy my content or enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. It always helps the channel out. And I've been Station X and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.